there, welcome to Monkey John Collective, your place for another for action figures, cosplay and props. Today, uh, something special. I'll be posting this video now, uh, hopefully, because the person who's getting this blaster has received it and had a look at it and uh, has acknowledged that they've received it. So I can now post this video. I've been working on this blaster for what seems like months. Uh, obviously, we had a lot of stuff to do with Envo and we were very busy, but this is for my Britnorf Mod Swap 2018. So uh, Mod Swap's the thing we did last year, Britnorf community. So everyone that wanted to take part put their names in a hat and uh, Boff organised it all and he picked names randomly out of a hat, matched us up with somebody and we then had to make a blaster for them. It was like a kind of secret Santa type thing. Uh, we did it last year, it was great fun. I got a Suez 12 from Denmark last year and he got me. So, uh, Luckily enough, we were kind of swapped with each other. So I made the big shoulder cannon blaster for him and he made me the Dinglish Pew Strife. Uh, uh, so yeah, it was good fun. There was a lot of good blasters came about. and It was just, yeah, you kind of do a bit of research into your target, try and find a blaster that you think will go with him and uh, yeah, do what you want. There's a kind of few rules and regulations, time-wise and budget-wise, but yeah, it's good. So I got a Nerfer based down in London, his name's Sock Addict, he's a member of the Team Tropicana Thunder. Uh, I met Sock Addict when he came up to Terminal Infection 3, he came up to play at that game with us and uh, he's a Nerfer after my own heart, I think, he likes to play to put a smile on his face, he likes to have fun. Uh, he turned up to Terminal Infection 3 with a Vortex loadout which was brilliant fun and uh, his Tropica, Tropicana shirt and pink, uh, <laughs> pink urban camo. Uh, trousers and yeah he's good fun he's a good guy uh sp spoke to him a bit but there was a blaster in particular we had the stall set out at terminal infection 3 and he was admiring one of the blasters we had out in the stall so i decided to make him a blaster along the same lines as that he's quite a competent nerf modder he builds some awesome blasters himself does some awesome work so I didn't know what to do with them uh, quite what to do so I knew he'd shown interest in this blaster on the stall, so I thought I'd uh, go with something similar to that so i can present to you the tropical fire so this is a fearless fire blaster with some hydro dip stuff, some custom decals and we've uh, revamped it a bit with the uh, full rewire, taken all the locks out and I've chucked some rhino motors in there as well just to give it a bit more pep. So uh, with the rhinos it'll be able to work on 2S and 3S, it's got a stock cage, stock wheels so it should be well under the 100 FPS and 130 FPS respectively for the two battery types uh, which makes it a yeah, it makes it quite functional and usable in most games that uh, Sock Addict will attend. Uh, I've tested it out already, I've shot a few, I've got a 3S LiPo in it just now. So uh, it's shooting, not bad, it's shooting really straight, so I've also got the cage and the wheels lined up quite well, which I was quite chuffed about because I, I was a bit scared, uh, I was a bit, well I'm not scared, a bit worried about how, how it would shoot with the stock cage and wheels. Tried to get some worker wheels in there, but they're just too chunky for the stock cage without carving the cage to bits and kind of uh, thought it might weaken it a wee bit so I decided just to put the stock wheels back in but yeah it's, it's shooting pretty well it's shooting quite straight I've not chronoed it but it's a uh, yeah it's rhinos on stock cage and wheels so it should be fairly standard performance uh, but yeah so what we've done the guys in team Tropicana Thunder a lot of them have gone for this tropical hydro dip now on blasters a few of them got them now I'd actually bought this months ago to do this blaster uh, obviously I got caught up I'd done all the cosmetic work before I left for end war and I've just finished the rewiring now and I'm a bit late posting this actually so sorry dude uh, I was a bit busy though but it's uh, <laughs> it's with you now hopefully uh, so yeah we've gone for the tropical hydro dip and we've got a wood hydro dip on the handles here and then I've done the barrel, jam door, battery door in gold just to give it a, uh, I was going to do yellow but I just thought the gold would give it a bit more kind of mature look a bit more yeah a bit more classy I thought goes well with the wood, wood dip uh, it's got a new micro switch in there as well on the trigger. Got DC2 Cherry micro switch, and yeah, it still has the kind of janky trigger pull that the Fearless Fire has. I've not had time to work on that and get that done properly, so it still has that kind of janky trigger pull that the Fearless Fire has. But it's shooting pretty well. Uh, as I say, I've only tested on 3S, not tested on 2S yet, but uh, 3S it works. Uh, it's shooting dead straight. <laughs> And the uh, rev trigger is very snappy, so it revs up very quickly. Uh, obviously, the stock wheels in there are pretty light for, for the Rhino motors, so they rev up pretty, for, pretty fast. So we've got a few custom decals in this. We've gone for the Team Tropicana Thunder logo. Thanks for Nerf Shack for letting us use that. 
And here on the back here we have uh, Sock Addict's little avatar, this Tropicana Thunder avatar. I just thought I'd put that on there to personalise it for him a wee bit. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I did. A, I had a high, double Hydra Dipped uh, Blaster on the stall at TI3 and uh, Sock Addict seemed to love it. And he spent a lot of time looking at it and uh, saying it was really nice. So I thought I'd do something similar, so this one's slightly different, but on the same theme. Uh, so yeah, I hope you really enjoy this. I hope you get some good use out of it. As I say, it should be, it should come in uh, under 100 FPS and 130 FPS, so you should be able to use it in most games. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I've not got my mod swap yet. I'll probably get it when I come back from holiday. So I have no idea who I've got, what I've got. Uh, looking forward to doing that. We'll do a wee uh, unveil video when I get that and uh, say thanks to whoever sent me a blaster. So yeah, it's exciting. But anyway, this is my blaster for mod swap. Britma for Mod Swap 2018, going to Salt Addict down in London. Hope he enjoys it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, subscribe and like on all those, please. Uh, and check out footage. Got loads of footage coming from Engo and stuff. Um, still got some videos to edit. Had some issues with my phone. Got a new phone now, so I'm going to sort get these videos edited and sorted and put up soon. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, hope you enjoyed this. See you later.